Oh, slip knot. These are so sweet. No, no, these are so sweet. You're, you're sweet too, but you know not everything's about you. Oh, oh, you almost got it. I'll keep reaching for it. <laughs> what are you doing? Chill! Welcome back to Talking Serpents. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a cleaning. Slipknot's enclosure is a little bit dirty, so we're going to clean it. And maybe we'll even clean uh, Bandit's enclosure because he always needs to clean. Always. So what I've wanted to talk about for a while now is quality versus quantity. And what I mean by this is, do you want to have quality animals? Do you want to have quality time? Or do you want to have lots of animals and probably not enough time? Some people I'm not going to name names or say who. Um, I'm also not going to say it's wrong because some people can have lots of animals. They have employees and uh, they have lots of time, more time than even I have to dev devote to animals. And uh, yeah, anyways, quality versus quantity. Um, What's the most important thing? We can talk about reptile specific. Each reptile usually has its own morph. You could buy three or so of the same normal morph, or you could have a more expensive morph, something that you really, really desired. So for me, I'd rather spend two, three times as much and get a morph that I really, really wanted and put, you know, my eggs in one basket, so to speak. But uh, that definitely, I would rather do that anyways. And then uh, time. For me, time is very important. The less animals I have, the more time I can spend with them, the quality I can spend on. I can understand that specific animal, that specific snake species. And that's why some people wonder why I have such great relationship with my animal. Yes, it's all about having an understanding of that snake species and how to work with them. But it's also about time. You have to put the time in. And if you have too many animals, and I've had plenty of people that I've worked with before, and friends and all that, that had too many animals, and they couldn't figure out why Why are you able to have you know these relationships with your animals? And like, Time. You're not spending the time. You have too many. You need to just just take a deep breath and then really think about. You probably should not have so many animals. So, like I said before, quality versus quantity. And I'm not going to say names to the people that do have too many reptiles or animals in general. We all know those kinds of people. And once again, I have to say, sometimes it's not wrong. Because some of these people have employees or lots of time and just oh the way they manage their animals. But for me, as you've known, I like to give my animals everything they need and then some. I like to, so to speak, spoil my animals. Uh, that's just me. I definitely think that's the right thing to do, but maybe I'm not right. That's okay. If you have too many animals, I see people putting their animals in like small rack systems. I'm not saying rack systems are bad because some are actually good. Some snakes are shy and some rack systems are pretty deep and they give their animal what they need. So not saying they're wrong, but sometimes I see people and I've definitely seen it personally um, where they stick all these animals in small rack systems. Come on. Let's take a deep breath. Let's think about it. Not cool. It is not cool. Shouldn't be confined to a little small area. Yes, snakes don't 
like big areas usually stress them out <laughs> but there's a it can only be so small before it's like well come on man that's not cool that snake doesn't want to be living in a tiny little tub or tank or whatever you got them in yeah you have to maintain these animals they need food they need water they need proper heat and humidity and all these things take time to set up to monitor them all the time it's not like you can just set it and forget it so it definitely takes a little bit of time so yeah let's go check out Slipknot I have not touched him today right now we actually have the glass doors off and the bedding it's being swept up by my wife right now. So, just sweeping up the last of the bedding. And then uh, when it time comes time to actually cleaning up inside the enclosure, uh, thoroughly cleaning everything, he'll be coming out. For now, he's just sitting on a little patch of aspen bedding. That's what he wants. But yeah, I would touch Slipknot. And the amount of trust that we have. Oh, I'll get this out of the way. You can touch him. He's not gonna freak out and take off. He's not gonna try to bite me. He knows that I'm not a threat because I spent lots of time with him. Time is very important. And even more important than time is really understanding the snake species. Not every snake species is the same. I would not handle my reticulated pythons like I would false water cobra or boa. They're just a little different. They're all fairly similar, they're all snakes. But each snake has different uh, instinctual <coughs> habits. Where are you going? Wanna say hi to everybody? It doesn't really like to be pat on the head. Then again, it's hard to tell anyways, because if I went like this and kind of caress his head, he's gonna want to take off anyways. He's a very active snake. Once he's out of the enclosure, that's it. <laughs> the light switch is on, and it's time. We're moving, we are moving, people. Where are you going? Yep, everything's going on. It's, your house is getting empty. So yeah, I'm not, we have another video of uh, how I clean my reptile enclosure, so 100% goes over everything. But um, yeah, once we get him out and all the bedding out, I'll remove these. These are hard mounted in here because a uh, big snake like Slipknot will definitely uh, move all the wood structures around. So I gotta unbolt that, clean them 100%, and then uh, I use a 10 to 1 bleach water solution. I'm not gonna get real thorough, because if you wanna go learn how we clean our enclosures, go check it out, it's definitely on our, our YouTube channel. Sunglobola Theros. He's sleeping right now. But uh, I haven't touched him either today. Just waking him up. Not a care in the world. Come on, bud. Why do all of those seem to do that? They're so tail dominant. Is it just me or does it just seem like every boa that I've ever handled is super tail dominant? They want their tail to be like planted. You see, most of our, most 
boa constrictors to be more um, semi-boreal. I definitely would like to change his enclosure. I do have a little bit of a tree structure in here for him, but to be honest, I I want to give him a lot more a boreal space. So. And he doesn't care. Very trustworthy. I don't think he's gonna bite me or anything. Just give the animal respect. One of the things I'm also talking about as far as quality is knowing the animal that you're working with. Spending more time with the animal and less time trying to buy new animals. Quality time, the quality and the amount that you learn from them. Nobody can be good at everything. I usually see lots of, uh, not all, but most snake breeders. They have so many animals because they're breeding snakes. Some of them have, make a living off of it. Some don't. But usually most of them, not all, um, like, uh, Kevin from Nerd, he has a pretty decent sized collection, nothing too crazy big, but he has great relationship with his animals and I highly respect that. And then there are some other reptile breeders that have too many animals and they don't ever get socialized. They're just treated like, uh, Dairy cows. <laughs> I think that's the best way to describe it, right? So, yeah, to each their own. I'm not saying anybody's wrong, I'm just saying that's what I would do. You do what you feel is best. Alright, all cleaned. Nice and sanitized. Cleaned all the walls, glass. All the little wood pieces, lock bowl of course, we clean those a lot more often, a lot, a lot more often, and yeah, dump them in. When I mean dump them in, I mean to have them slither on in. Every time we put a new snake in there, I'm sure if you have snakes, you know what I'm talking about, they're gonna get in there and they're gonna smell everything. Everything smells new. Is this my house? It doesn't smell like my house. It smells new. I don't think it's my house. It's my house? Well, because we use uh, aspen bedding. It always smells really nice in here. It smells like a real natural smelling wood. People always wonder. Because if you have too many animals, sometimes people have uh, like a smell. Inside the reptile room. But you walk in here and it just smells like a very natural wood smell, which I really enjoy. Especially because we're always spot cleaning and I look through all my enclosures in the morning and then at night. So, if anybody decides to use the uh, a snake restroom, just clean it up. Alright, so not enjoy. So let me know what you think. Put it in the comment section below. What do you think about quality versus quantity? Just because I think a certain thing doesn't mean that uh, I'm right. I'm not saying that at all. What do you think? Say bye, Theros. If you like the video, strike the like button. If you have any comment, like I said, put it in the comment section below. I definitely want to chat with you on that subject. Um, please do subscribe. It definitely helps. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. Have a nice day. The tongue flickers mean goodbye and have a nice day. I uh, telepathically can speak the snakes, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah.